All right, everyone. Now we're going to be setting up the Google Analytics. Okay, so I want you to go to your browser and just type in Google Analytics and you should get to this page. Once you do that, go down up here to sign in and tap on Analytics. Now, just to uh, make sure that before we do this um, setting up Google Analytics, make sure that you do have a separate Google account. You should have created that when you created your blog. Um, I created perfectblissmom at gmail.com as my blog's um, email address for all the things I'm going to sign up for my blog, like hosting, Google Analytics, Google Search Console, um, any kind of email service provider that I use, any kind of affiliate programs that I sign up to. Those are, that's the email address that I will use that's tied to my blog. So make sure that you have a separate Gmail account just for your blog. All right, so let's sign up. So we're gonna create a new account. So the account name, we can use your blog's name. So I'm just gonna type in perfect bliss mom. You can use your URL as your account name or just the blog's name. So you can actually put um, perfectblissmom.com or your whatever your URL is, .com too. All right, so um, the website name, perfectblissmom.com. And then I need the URL. I'm just gonna make sure that that's my um, address. So I do have HTTPS perfectblissmom.com. And let me just check here. HTTPS, good, perfectblissmom.com. Okay. Um, just set something that's based on what your blog's about. It isn't, it's only for Google's purposes in their like backend stuff for this. So it doesn't matter what you put here. So I'm just gonna put other. All right, I'll make sure that the time zone is set right. All right, and then we're gonna click on get tracking ID. You'll be promoted to accept the Google's terms of service and agreement, so you can accept. And that was the final step in setting up and creating your Google Analytics account. All right, so now we need to install the Google Analytics code on our blog so that analytics can start gathering information about our site. And to do this, we need a plugin. So you're gonna go log into your account and we're gonna search for a Google Analytics dashboard for WordPress and install that plugin, okay? So um, you're gonna go to your um, blog, you're gonna go to the back end and you're gonna click on plugins. And then you're going to add new. And you're gonna search for Google Analytic. And you should be prompted to um, some Google Analytic plugins. The first one is the one you want. It has this nice little picture by Alan Marku. Okay, so install this one and activate it. Okay, so if you go down down this side bar here, you will see that it has um, created a new item here, Google Analytics, so click on that. Click on Authorize Plugin, and you need to get the access code. So click on that, it will generate a code for you. Right here, copy it. So um, I triple clicked it and right clicked copy. And then right click paste and save the access code. And there you go, now it's set up to start tracking. It was that easy. <laughs> so what you can do is if you go to your dashboard and scroll down, there it is. So this plugin enables you to look at your Google Analytics from the back end of your site, which can be handy. It gives you analytics for each of your blog posts that you create. So it will have a little, um, uh, graphic here, you click on it and you can see the tracking of the people coming to your, your posts. It also has it for your pages too. If you go into the plugin, you can root around and see what's there. You can change the color that it displays. It will be blue. Um, let's see. You can um, enable or disable the, the widget that it was showing. So that dashboard 
on the dashboard, that little um, view. You can turn that off if you want. You can turn on and off if you wanted to view um, the analytics for each blog post and each um, pages. Okay, so you can customize that if you want. All right. Um, and then these are other things that you don't need to know. You can leave them as, def as the default for all of this stuff, okay? And you can just take a look and see. But yeah, so that's basically it. All right, there you go.